Hi everybody, I'm Coach Ali, this is Steph. Welcome to today's dumbbell workout to strengthen your weak lower back. Now, in a recent Q&A video, one of our channel members asked for some help managing his weak lower back that was causing him some issues, particularly with certain exercises. So I thought I'd create a holistic home workout for lower back pain management. Now, this one's for you, Hester, and again, thank you for supporting our channel. We've included exercises to strengthen your lower back muscles, as well as complementing and connective tissues such as your hips, your upper glutes, and your lower abs as well. We're all about supporting those who support us. So if you're a channel member and you have a workout request, particularly for fixing pain or developing mobility, then know that Coach Ali and I have your back. If you have friends or family who need to strengthen their lower back muscles or suffer from lower back pain, then please share this dumbbell workout for a weak lower back with them. And let's help them become pain-free and more mobile. Absolutely. I've specifically designed today's home workout for lower back pain in a way that is easy to follow along from anywhere that you choose to work out with us. So I hope we can help as many people as possible. Let's start to fix your lower back pain today. Now, for those of you joining us for the very first time, I wanna say welcome to the channel and thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my experience with you today. Coach Ali is a master fitness trainer with over 25 years experience transforming and repairing thousands of bodies at the gym, including mine. So I'm sure you'll pick up lots of useful tips along the way today. If you haven't already, could you please help us out by hitting that subscribe button down below. Your support will help us to create new workouts for you every week. We release a concise version of the workout for the week on Tuesdays at 10 p.m. and an amplified version of the workout on Thursdays, also at 10 p.m. Now, I mentioned earlier that we released our first members Q&A segment just a few days ago. In this segment, our channel members get to ask us fitness and nutrition questions and we answer them in video format. So channel members, if you have more questions for me, then shoot away and I'll add them to the next Q&A video. If you'd like to become an exclusive channel member and take advantage of the members only services, then simply hit the join button below and follow the prompts. That's enough talk from us today, you guys. Let's get down to business and let's start our dumbbell workout to strengthen a weak lower back. All right, guys, let's start the warm up for your dumbbell workout to strengthen your lower back. So the first exercise we're going to do is some good mornings with a bent over row. Now, you can see that our feet are parallel and at shoulder width. And when we're hinging into that good morning, we're making sure that we're pushing our butt back so there's no curvature of the spine. When you do your bent over row, make sure that your elbows are tucked in by your side. All right, second warm-up exercise for your dumbbell workout for a weak lower back. Now, you can see we're doing some stiff leg deadlifts with a marginal twist so that we're basically pushing the dumbbell in front of one shin and then alternating and pushing it in front of the other. Now, again, making sure that you're keeping a neutral spine throughout this exercise. Make sure it's nice, steady, controlled movement.
All right, let's continue to strengthen your lower back muscles with some single dumbbell oblique tilts. You can see we've got the dumbbell rested on our chest. Our feet are at shoulder width. You can have them marginally wider if you like. Now, this is one of the only exercises where your knees remain hard straight. And then it's just a matter of tilting, creating a letter C with your body towards one side, and then getting back upright and doing exactly the same thing on the other side. All right, let's continue to fix your back with your dumbbells, guys. We're doing a standing press with a sprinkler twist. So we're pushing the dumbbell forward until your arms are extended and your core is engaged. And then we're twisting to one side with those arms continuing to remain extended. Make sure your knees are slightly bent and make sure your hips slightly behind you. We don't want it pushing forward as you press. Now you don't have a dumbbell workout to strengthen your lower back without some glutes bridges in there. So you can see we're doing this one weighted. Make sure that your feet are at shoulder width. Make sure you're nice and comfortable and the dumbbells rested on your hips. And then we're gonna go up nice and slow until you've got a straight line from your shoulder to your knee. And then drop down to the floor and start your repetition from the beginning again. Dumbbell press crunch to continue your dumbbell workout for weak lower back, guys. You can see our lower back is pinned against the floor and when we're crunching, we're crunching straight up. We're not crunching towards our knees. Make sure your lower back does not leave the floor at all and make sure you've got really good control, slow movement for this one. It's like you're trying to push your dumbbell to the ceiling. Let's get through a set of dumbbell press crunches.
An excellent way of strengthening your lower back muscles by addressing the lower abs, guys. We're working some alternate toe taps. So you can see we're starting in a tabletop position with our lower back pinned against the floor and then gently toe tapping on the floor one leg at a time. Make sure your head and shoulder blades are lifted and your chin is tucked in towards your chest. Continuing your home workout for lower back pain, we're going to go into an isometric glutes bridge and we're going to start throwing some knee raises from that high isometric position with ample control. So make sure your hips don't drop down on this one. Now you can see we've supported ourselves by having our arms by our side and that the movement is nice and slow and controlled. Let's alternate lefts and rights for this one. Prone alternate donkey kicks is an excellent way to strengthen your lower back, guys. We're starting in our prone position, so it leaves your hips open to begin with. And then it's a matter of trying to put your footprint on the ceiling. You're trying to elevate your whole leg with a vertical shin bone as much as possible, guys. Try to eliminate or at least minimize any twist of the hip when you do this exercise. Guys, start this one in a prone plank and you can see that we're working our way back into a downward dog pose. When you push back, try to get your heels onto the floor and make sure that your knees and arms are nice and stiff. Push your tailbone out and then come back slowly into your prone plank position where you're engaging your abs. Now, make sure that you don't go below a straight line. So we don't want to accent the curvature in the lumbar spine for this one.
let's continue your home workout for lower back pain with some dumbbell cradles. So you can see we're starting in a stiff leg deadlift position. And then it's a matter of twisting from left to right with ample control. Make sure there's a slight bend in your knee and also make sure that your back is remaining nice and neutral so there's no curvature there at all. It's just control twists from one side to the other. Another great exercise to strengthen your lower back muscles, we're working some double toe taps. So you can see our lower back is pinned against the floor, our head and shoulder blades are lifted with our chin tucked in, and then it's a matter of touching both toes to the floor nice and gently, and then lifting back up into your tabletop position. Slow controlled movement is the key for this particular exercise. This is a more advanced workout for lower back pain guys. We're getting into that prone position and working some Superman back flexions one side at a time. So you can see opposite arm and leg moving together and you can see they are both remaining nice and stiff. Your hip is glued to the floor and it's steady controlled movement all the way. Get as high as you can without breaking form on one side and then when you get to the floor, try the other side as well. An excellent addition to your home workout for lower back pain guys, let's work through some side knee drops for this one. You can see the lower back is pinned against the floor and we're using our arms in the T position to make sure that there's no movement in the shoulders at all. And then it's just a gentle twist from one side to the other with your knees glued together if you can. This is a fantastic obliques and hips exercise for you.
Guys, this one's vital for strengthening lower back muscles. Let's work some prone stiff leg raises and you can see that we're doing them alternately. Make sure that your stomach and your thighs are glued to the floor to start with. It's a matter of lifting a leg nice and stiff so we want to try and get no bend in the knee if we can. Alternate lefts and rights and make sure that they're slow and steady movement. Get that contraction in your glutes and your lower back. Six o'clock alternate leg drop is a fantastic support exercise because it's working through your lower abs and your hips. Now you can see that our shoulder blades are lifted off the ground. Our arms are by our side for support and we're trying to keep those legs as stiff as you can as you drop them down into that six o'clock position. Keep your chin tucked into your chest and make sure your lower back does not leave the ground, especially when you're extending. If you find that your lower back is leaving the ground, then shorten your range of movement and make sure that lower back remains pinned. Alternate jackknifes is a more advanced core exercise where we're using that stiff leg to work our hips and lower abs. And then we're also using the arms and the crunch at top to work the upper abs. So again, a fantastic support exercise for your home workout for lower back pain. Make sure you're nice, slow and controlled and make sure that your head and shoulder blades are lifting as you do these jackknifes. Do not leave them on the floor. Side jackknife is a fantastic obliques and hips exercise. So you can see our dynamic arm and leg is remaining nice and stiff and then they're pretty much meeting in the middle. Squeeze those obliques and hips and abductors and you'll find this is a great support exercise for a routine that's designed to strengthen your lower back muscles. We'll do a set on one side and then turn over and do the other side as well. Now guys, face the other way and let's do our side jack knives using the opposite arm and leg this time.
prone glutes rainbow starts much like a prone donkey kick but as you go up we're also going to create a semicircle and work our way out so it's a matter of opening the hip up but try to maintain your leg position as you do it really good focus on your glutes and your lower back for this one guys Make sure you exercise ample control and try to keep your semicircles as symmetrical as possible. Dynamic cat plank is a fantastic core exercise and it's sure to help you strengthen your lower back muscles by working the other side, working your abs and working your TFL as well. What you're doing is you're lifting up into what looks like a cat stretch, but it's from a plank position and we're doing this dynamically, going up and coming back down, nice and steady. Make sure that you're not dropping below a straight line from your ankle to your shoulder because we don't want to pressure the lower back at all. Alright, you've done an excellent job strengthening your lower back muscles guys, so let's go into a swing stretch now. Drop your elbows down and drive your chest and shoulders up, make sure you're looking up for this one. What we'll do after this is complement it by going back into a child's pose. So make sure that you've got your knees spread a little bit and then drop down and lower your chest as you exhale as close to the ground as you can. Once you inhale, make sure you don't lift back up, try to stay down there. Okay, change over now. Excellent job getting through your dumbbell workout to strengthen your lower back, you guys. All right, we need to get our stretches in for our home workout for lower back pain, guys. So you can see we're starting with a rocking chair. So you're basically clasping your hands together around your knees, and it's a light rocking motion back and forth for this one. And then to complement this, we're going to work our way into a tall stretch. So you're pushing with the heel of your foot, trying to reach the wall on one side of the room, and then you're reaching with your hands at the other side. Okay, change over now.
Well done for finishing your dumbbell workout to strengthen a weak lower back. If you enjoyed the workout, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the alert button so you don't miss out on the new workouts each week. Now, very important, you guys, if you're looking to burn body fat, make sure that you continue to our secrets to burning fat video right now. You'll see a link of it at the end of this video. I need you guys to get straight into it right away while your body is perfectly primed for burning body fat, which is right now. As always, thank you so much for training with us. We look forward to bringing you another home dumbbell workout in just a few days time. Thanks again for your support of our channel. Take care of yourselves and each other.